Jim, UPE, when was it started and how's the business grown over recent years? UPE started in 1999 and we were lucky enough to, to get an opportunity to machine some, some very tricky aerospace components early on. It was something that other companies had struggled with but we cracked it first time and that, that soon cemented a solid relationship with this particular customer. And that customer is stuck with us, is still with us today. We have many more customers, obviously, but it was that early break that allowed us to grow. So that's 15 years of trading? Yes. And how many people do you employ now? The, we employ 43 people now and still recruiting. Really? And what industries would you serve? We're heavily involved in the aerospace industry. Motorsport and medical are our main three. And that would be subcontract? Subcontract, yes. And do you have your own product as well? Yes, we do. Um, I'm a keen angler, and it's surprising the amount of opportunities for engineered products in the fishing industry. All our products are CAD designed, and being UPE, they're high-end, first-class products, and we're widely recognised as being the finest in the industry. OK. And you obviously need machine tools to manufacture, and, you, and you've got a pretty substantial machine shop down there that we've yes. seen. How do you go about your, your purchase selection? Well, firstly, we, we only buy new machinery. If, if it's just for increased capacity, that's quite easy because we know exactly what we, what we require from a machine tool. If it's for a new application, we, we carefully plan out exactly what we need from that machine and then research the machines from there. But in, in every case, performance, reliability and customer service is key. And FANUC, you've got yes. a few FANUC machines. Your investment in FANUC has obviously been substantial as well. What, why have you gone with FANUC and what continues to uh, enable you to invest in their machinery? Well, the robo drill in particular, I mean, it's quite easy for me to answer. Uh, I love the small footprint of the machine. The, the tool changer is, is so fast and, and the way in which the, the machine moves and the accuracy just shaves minutes off of any cycle time. They're, they're very easy to set and operate and the reliability of, of the robo drills are second to none. Um, they're, they're, they're by far the most reliable machines that we have in the factory. We purchased our, our first robo drill in 2001. Uh, we, we work our machines extremely hard day and night and, and that very first machine, the, the downtime that we've had on that machine is, is not even worth mentioning. So how many FANUC machines have you got then Jim? We have four currently. We're ready to order two more. This time we're going to go with a robot loader between the two machines and I'm sure there will be more in the future. So what's your projection for UPE over the next couple of years? We have a passion for everything engineering and we, we love efficiency and I often ask the guys out there about the part that they've just machined, could it be any better? And the answer needs to be no. So in answer to your question, we will continue doing what we do best and that was always taking care of our natural progression. So Steve, along with Jim, when it comes to machine tool procurement, you get heavily involved in that. What do you like about FANUC? Um, for what, what it's designed to do and what we, we, we require them to do, they're fantastic uh, machines. And the quality speaks for itself and reliability. So you talk about reliability, you mentioned earlier a machine, since, was it since 2001 you've had it and it's hardly broken? Yeah, I, we've had, I mean, I don't think, I think it's probably once in 11 years we've had to call them out to fix it. Every other time, other than general servicing, machines are really reliable. So what is this particular part that you got here Steve? Uh, basically it's a high speed camera case, um, obviously for taking really high speed pictures. And do you know the machining process on this? Is there, have you got a cycle time, has it come from a billet form? It's come out of a solid billet and the cycle time is around about two and a half hours. From start to finish? Yeah. And then in contrast to that we've got these little connectors here. Yeah. So you'd also do those on this machine? We do, yes. And what are they for? 
They are just an insulator, electrical insulator, a very small one, obviously. And the material is like a plastic it's nylon a pink. material? Pink. Right, okay. So do you, do you actually use the 24,000 RPM spindle? Yeah, on these we do, yeah. Right. Yeah, we do, yeah. And do they come out of a, uh, a billet or a Yeah, bomb? they come out of a, a solid, um, a solid piece. Right, so how many would you get out of that? Four out of that at a time. It's not often I visit a machine shop and I'm absolutely blown away by what the business has achieved over recent years and the capacity that is available and on show. Well, here at UPE is a great example of a business that's really excelling.